What's happening, fellas? It's another Wheelie Wednesday here at Kaplan Cycles in front of the New England Motorcycle Museum. And James just came with a whole truckload of goodies. Where you, where'd you come from this time, New James? New Jersey. Check this out. It doesn't look like much right now, but if you know what you're looking at, this is the best handling Harley Davidson frame ever with a fresh Evolution engine in it. This is the uh, FXR Harley Davidson. We got a ton of parts. We're going to do uh, Olin's shocks on it and a legend uh, front end on it. Thunderheader is going to be sick. Now, check this out. This is probably the nicest KTM 520 uh, left in the country. This thing is absolutely freaking pristine, like brand new. And we also have in the back there, as you can see, I've got an obscene amount of parts that came with this bike. Like when I, when I say obscene, I got a, basically a whole nother KTM 520. My friend Eber Morse from New Jersey, my uh, uh, alumni, because I was born in New Jersey, hooked me up with these bikes. Now take a look at this. These are the original tires on this thing. Eber said this thing's got like maybe 100 miles on it. It's absolutely freaking pristine. And we also have enough parts to build another bike. And I just bought off the Wizard. I bought another KTM 520 that was down to the frame he was restoring. I'm going to turn that one into a full-on race weapon. Now this thing is street legal. It's uh, registered for the street. It's got a titled street legal title. It's got the plate on the back. Let's get it out and take a closer look. If you know anything about these KTMs, these things are horsepower monsters. Uh, John Dowd raced one of these. We sponsored John Dowd in 2003 on the PC Worldwide Kaplan Cycles Cernix.com race team. Uh, we had, I think he had seven bikes that year. Uh, they were the KTM 540, it was 2003, and they were whole shot monsters. He's whole shot a bunch of the Nationals against the factory team. In fact, he got a factory engine from KTM, one of the built motors, and he ran one moto on it and overjumped everything, and he was like, you know what, it's too much. Put the stock motor back in, because right out of the box, these things were rocket ships. The boys are going to make the magic happen. Uh, you know it, bud. Wait until you see when we're done. Hell yeah. Look at this thing. What a freshy! Wow, it, you know what was remarkable? The tank didn't even yellow on this one. They usually get all yellow and everything. This thing is Ebert. You uh, very rarely does a bike exceed my expectations, but this is exactly what you said it was. Look how fresh the engine cases are. The pipes still got the shine on them. The WP shock looks like it just came out of the box. This is a kick-ass piece. What are your thoughts? Oh, this thing's awesome. I mean, like you said, the yellow, the tank's not even yellow. That's like unheard of. Yeah, this is a sweet bike. Look at the pipe on this thing, man. Wow, yeah, that's a pretty bike. I can't wait to do some wheel. Hey, it's Wheelie Wednesday. Let's fire it up and do some wheelies. Guys, you gotta check the frame rails. This is just the way this came in. <coughs> There's not a nick or a scratch on them. Eber, I don't think you even, you, you must not have taken it off road. I know you had the plates on it, but man, um, this thing is super another clean. another frame for one of these. Don't play me. I got a frame, I got a KGM frame. I know, oh, Eber told me. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Oh, be still my beating heart. Look at this. Elizabeth, I'm coming to join you. This might be the big one. Look at this thing. It's a brand new XR All oh, Wheelie Wednesday. Put some gas in it. I'm going to wheelie this thing all the way up the street right now. Start it up. I'm going to do wheelies around. I'll, I think I'll set a new record. My former record was five times around the house. Look at this thing. It's. Look at this thing. Kyle, check it out. It's a brand new XR200R. Looks like it just came out of the factory, out of the crate. Look at this thing. This is absolutely beautiful. Wow. This is every kids and every big kids. You can wheelie these things forever. Check out my other XR200 video. He's like, he's like the adult version of an XR100. You can go, exactly, you can go much faster on these than, than, than you would think possible. If you're wondering what all the sand is right here, Moses, Helped unload the trailer again this week <laughs> and turned the motor upside down and poiled all over the place. So we, we decided we'd ask them not to help unload engines anymore as kindly as possible. But uh, in any event, we got a little disaster here we got to clean up. Um, so, yeah, let's get this baby going. What do we got here? Another an, female owned. An absolute, an, oh, yeah, that's right. You said it was female owned and operated. Now, Eber bought this for his ex wife. She's no longer around, but the bike is things in the tanks but it's got a, the original tank is yeah, there he and told, then an extra tank he told me that that this thing had 600 miles on it which it does yeah check it Jimmy! guys like james said eber took the original tank off because he was afraid his wife was going to drop this thing so wait do you see the, the collection of parts that comes with this you're not going to believe it it's essentially a whole another 
whole new KE100. Now this tank looks good, but he's got the NOS original brand new tank sitting inside the trailer there, wrapped up in towel so it wouldn't get scratched. Jimmy! Woo! Go Jimmy! Just another Wheelie Wednesday. What do we got here? Look oh, at that. Wow, look at all these manuals. Heber hooked us up. We got the Kawasaki KE100 manual. Wow, the KTM, a book on KTM, a hardbound book. Honda service, man, all the manuals and paperwork. Man, you did it right, Eber. Thank you, brother. Look at this. Wow. Oh. That, there, hey. Hey. This is the frame we're going to build Wizard's uh, KTM in. What do you got here, Jimmy? Woo. Look at that little thing. It's a little ripper, huh? Thing runs great, man. Sounds good. What's up with the green cable there? It looks terrible. <laughs> you know I'm color conscious. Hey, functional. It works, huh? I We'll fix that glitch. That's got to go. That's a buzz kill. Yep. We got to paint the side covers. Looks good though. How many miles on this diamond? This one says 23,000. 23,000. Ready for another 23. What year is it? You know what? I don't even know. Sounds good. Hey, it's Wheelie Wednesday. Pop one for us, James. <laughs> Those Ascend days it. are over with. Oh, hell no. No negative talk. <laughs> so, so, guys, J Jimmy had heart replacement surgery. Few years back what's stopping you get off the couch get on your bike I need life is short have some fun what do you got here you want to open the boxes yeah look at this all oh. oh, brand look at a brand brand new seat brand new sheet yeah. all brand new oh, look at this. everything you need to build build uh, that thing you got a couple ktm projects you can oh, use yeah. this stuff on all right bring that up and put it on the side there look at this huh all brand new. I hear angels singing. All brand new parts for the KTM. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Woo! Look at that. Hey, hey, Kyle. look at this. Look at this. Kyle. These are what brand I thought. Brand spanking new. I think these will fit on the 200. Well, there you go, son. You're ready yeah, to go. Fucking man. Yes. Jackpot. Kyle. Chisholm on the uh, Stunt Show 70. Woo! It's Wheelie Wednesday. He's doing a two wheelie wheelie. A two wheelie wheelie. It's a two wheelie wheelie. Woo! Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He's got skills. Going pro. Going pro. Burn through the leaf pile. Blow it up. Woo! Oh yeah. Is this the best job in the world? It may not be, but I, I think it is. Look at that tank. What do you got here, James? Pull, pull this tank out. What do you got? I got a tank. But wow. I got the whole front end. Oh my god. And an extra pair of forks. Fan and what do you got? And Oh, don't play me. Brand, Supermoto wheels? Brand new wheel, two of them. Oh, man. Brand new tires, brand new wheels. Oh, man. Hey, we got Supermoto wheels for the 520. Up them on there. It's Wheelie Wednesday, Street Legal. We'll see if we can go five telephone pole lengths on the rear wheel. Oh, no, we'll go six or nine telephone pole lengths. There's, there's brand new, brand new exhaust and air mufflers. You got new exhaust and mufflers? New exhaust and mufflers. For new KTM. exhaust and mufflers for Wizards machine. We do things in threes around here. We're gonna have okay. three KTM 520s. Now, what do you got? This is the Harley stuff. Oh, yeah, now you're talking my language here. This is brand oh, new, brand new man. Pythons. Okay. These are, you wanna know why they call them pythons? Look at that, it's a python. And and fenders, fenders. rear fenders, front fenders. Let's get it all laid out. Let's um, give the people what they wanna see. Um, Woof, look at that. Hey, we just bought one of these. What do we pay for mine, do you know? It was like four or 500 bucks. Don't scratch then, it. Hey, you're scuffing then, it, pull it up. And then, well, he put it in there. There you go. He's taking the win. Hey, look at a There's brand new tank. tank. There's a tank. Look, show him the seat. Look at that. How much did you pay for my Corbin for my FXR? Oh, yeah, that was, that was like 400 bucks. Yeah, look at that Easily. one. I see a Harley Davidson and a Marlboro Man theme bike coming out of this. It's already got the colors. Yeah. The orange and yellow. Lance, Send it. Lance. Color me lucky in the words of Evil Knievel. This is James' bedroom up in here. That's where he sleeps. When he's on the road, it's a mess. You didn't make your bed this morning. Look at these rims. These Brand new, man. This is for the um, the red bike. The XR200. The We've got a, a pile of XR200 um, parts. All Are you kidding me? All look at all these forks. forks. Wow. They all look mint, too. Another motor. Another complete what? motor. Yeah, Fork, fork. We used to all computers in these carts back in the day. This is way more fun. Computers are boring. Okay, now this shit. All Kawasaki K1. Where's, where's the new tank? Tell me it's not that one. That one's got a dent in it. 
Oh, yeah. freshy. Freshy wrapped up nice. James style. Yeah, this is the way we do it. Make everything perfect. Professional. Professional perfect. motorcycle perfect. shipping. And uh, wheels and tires. Bring her out. We got another motor. And a whole other KE100 motor? Another whole if you motor. got a KE100 or an XR200 or a KTM 540 that you want to sell, call me. I got all the parts to rebuild them. We're looking to buy bikes. Cash for bikes. Give us a call. That's my cell number. Text me first so I don't know it's not a spammer. Hashtag, where's James? He's all over the country. But that's what we do. We buy motorcycles. Newer used, big or small. We buy them all. About over 200 bikes in the last month. We have one of the largest inventories of Primo vintage and classic motorcycles on the planet hell i've got at least six or nine of these in stock now just getting ready for christmas christmas season's coming right boys just getting ready james wants a christmas bonus for working around the clock here these are our harley projects we got coming down the pike these are the ones we bought from the estate sale here all harley davidson harley davidson big twins gonna fill the jungle with sound and here's our latest fxr project we just bought in we got at least six or nine fxrs too got some nice projects coming down the pipe that's going to be the the future ktm group north america east coast factory forty-five thousand square foot we got one hundred and fifty thousand square foot total space here at the factory and uh who knows maybe it'll be a honda factory whoever uh whoever wants to get on the bandwagon here and sell tons of motorcycles call me we're ready to go right boys this poor road glide. We're gonna have to rebuild that one. We've got a Sportster to do. We've got another Harley to do. We got another Harley to do. Lots of Harleys. What have you got here, son? Look at this. It's a freaking diamond. You found a diamond, son. You found a diamond. Oh yeah. <laughs> Look at these three cream puffs lined up here. A brand new KTM 520, a brand new XR 200, and a pristine 600 mile KE 100 with the. Dent proof ex wife gas tank. That is a freshie. I can't wait to ride this thing. It's so fun. It's getting her done. Holy parts jack pot, Batman. We've got what? One, two, three, four sets of forks. XR200. We've got the header pipe, whole wiring harness. We've got um, gas, complete gaskets, kits, levers, shifter, kicker, a wise coat, big bore, 51 millimeter kit, along with a cylinder. A sleeve, another head, brake. Uh, we got um, uh, case protectors, triple, three sets of triple clamps for an XR200 rear fender, and I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, at least six, six or nine air filters, a seat, another set of wheels, and a set of forks. Bieber hooked me up. This is like a life, lifetime supply of XR. You could ride this thing till till uh, the end of time, and a whole nother spare motor. How about that? Wow. What do you got there, Kyle? A brand new FMF. Look at this, a brand Power new- Powercore 4. Powercore 4 for the 520? Wow. Yeah. This is like- That's going on Wizard's bike, huh? This is insane. Freaking awesome. And then tons of, we got a, we need a table to spread all this stuff out. There's the Supermoto wheels for the 520. Brand new Supermoto wheels. And with brand new tires. And a brand new gas tank. Look at that thing. And a motor. Oversized gas tank. Holy KTM mother load. We need like 20 Oh my God. Hey, can you go up to the third, fourth floor, please, and grab uh, four six foot tables? You know where they are, right? Yeah. We can't get the elevator down because, well, somebody left the damn door open on the third, second, third floor. We can do this a hard way. Holy motorcycles, Batman. What do you got there, Kyle? Like, oh, 50, 50 ignition cover gaskets. 50 ignition cover gaskets. And what looks to be 80. probably... Said 80. 80. Clutch, clutch cover gaskets. gaskets. 40. So, that's are we the new KTM Park <laughs> Central East? That's just absolutely... Good nice. thing we got the factory over there to put everything in. How many tables? Eight. Fourth floor, ladies' laundry. This is a shipment that just came in the day before yesterday. We're piecing together all the parts on these, and we'll get all these ready to go. This one looks like it just came out of the museum. It's freaking beautiful. This one's beautiful. This one's beautiful. They're all beautiful in their own way, but 
Jesus, look at that green and orange. Isn't that nice? We got a three cylinder H1 500 that's getting auctioned off this week. This one here, as is. A sweet 78 Triumph Bonneville 750 coming down the pike. That's getting sold as is. Uh, we're also selling this 57 pan swing arm, genuine Harley Davidson chassis, chock full of brand new parts, new shocks, new transmission, performance machine brakes, brand new wheels. Everything's new on this except for the frame, which is original. Brand new zero mile, and up, mile speedometer, triple clamps, uh, twisted chrome spoke 21 inch with a brand new, look at this thing. And then we got a Honda Cup. Just another beautiful day in Rockville. Happiness is a CR500 along with your BMX bike in the back of your pickup. That one's going out to pick up some bikes. James is going out on the road picking up bikes, lots more bikes. We even got a Yamaha 500 for when Deegan comes back. We've got parts out the wazoo that have come in, like truckloads of parts, like break your frame truckloads of parts. Just unbelievable. We've got a whole Z1 900 coming in here. It's completely dismantled. This is just the first end of the shipment. Uh, 73, I believe, or maybe four. Um, Z1 900, some new tires, parts, brand new rims, fenders. Aramaki racing tanks, Harley Davidson racing tanks, pipes out the yin yang, tanks out the yin yang. This is the tip of the iceberg. This is just what came in this week. We've got acres of motorcycles and parts here. Acres. Right, James? You got acres of bikes and parts? We got a lot, a lot of scrap. How many here. bikes have you picked up and bought here so far? Um, 15, 20, about 30. That was today. But, but how many thousands have you picked oh, up so oh, far? Oh, over 5,000. Easily. 5,000. Just truckloads after truckloads. James, what, 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 what did you say? I said, this just makes me sad to see things like this. It says loud pipes save lives, and obviously it didn't. This one's, this one's a dream bike right here, man. And it turned into a nightmare, but we're gonna resurrect it. This is a Harley Davidson, top of the line. Full dresser, 100th anniversary road glide. It's my favorite fa fairing. These are the FLH style. It's more like the old school style. These road glides are what they're running. We want to build a bagger racing league bike out of this. Uh, we got Bill Kelly and uh, Lance Merton, the Harley engineer and shop manager that are going to pick all the Primo parts and build a nice road glide bagger racing league. Maybe I'll go to Daytona and send it. This elevator was originally built in 1880. I was water powered because electricity hadn't been invented yet. I got my dates correct. Uh, and it was converted to electricity back in the day. And, and it serves four floors on one factory and four floors on the other factory building. Hey, What's up, Squirrel? Hey, Mr. Captain, how you doing this morning? I'm doing good, man. What's hey, cooking? Man. Hey, man, I got soda, soda, soda and some cash. You bought me presents? Oh, yeah, my man. You know I like soda. <laughs> hey, man, you guys ain't bought me no presents. Where's the catch, squirrel? What's the catch? Hey, man, there's a catch to it. There's a catch to it? <laughs> What's you know, the catch, you know my man? You're hustling, right, my man? You're hustling? <laughs> hey, you got to make a buck. What's cooking today? Huh? I got some scrap metal for you out yeah, back. Yeah, you know that. I know. I'm trying to get some more. You got some more back there, we, too. We, yes, okay, I gotta, I gotta I'll hook you up. You, I got to ask you for it. That's hey, man, I don't see anybody else bring me presents today, so <laughs> you got the job, my man. <laughs> Thank you, man. James, you bought me presents too, didn't you? I bring you I'm sorry. All, I bring you do. You presents all the time. You're Santa. You're like Santa Claus, man. We expect you to bring presents. You're always hooking us up. Yeah, I'm a jolly good fellow. Yep. <laughs> bringing, all, bringing thousands of motorcycles to Rockville. This is in the lobby here. Take the back roads to the big city getaway at the New England Motorcycle Museum. Front page news there. Junior got in the paper there. Easy Rider. Mad about motorcycles. Here's Paul Sr. Orange County Choppers. Here's another newspaper article. Get your motor run and head out on the highway. The motorcycle has a rockful man's vision. That's me, man. Adventurism is baked into the American psyche. Horses and covered wagons carried settlers across plains and over mountains to quench their curiosity. By the turn of the 20th century, two-wheel motorized machines could take you up around the bend to the end of the highway where the neons turns to wood, as Creedence Clearwater sang. Really cool article. Got Steppenwolf in there. How about that? Pretty cool. 
This is Bill Blythe, our resident Formula 2 champion, RZ Cup champion. We got John Dowden, Doug Henry, Team Yamaha. Good stuff. If you missed the three-day party we had here with Doug Danger jumping the school bus, the mini bike races, stunt riders, don't miss the next one, man. Big party in New York City coming up. We're putting on at the Classic Car Club next Wednesday night, 6 to 10 p.m. Next Wednesday, Pier 76 at the Classic Car Club. Don't miss it. Guys, all these parts here are for the KTM 520 MXC. We just bought Wizards old 520, and then we got enough parts here to build, uh, I think we'll get three. We got this, this brand new one right here. And then look at this, we got all like multiple shrouds and fenders and fork guards and graphic kits and side covers and 40 clutch covers and 80 gaskets, gasket sets, brand new brakes and rotors and calipers and seats of the yin yang and air boxes and subframes and a frame and a titled frame, a titled motor, brand new oversized gas tank, all kinds of stuff. We got three sets of DTM Design Works chain guides. Carbon fiber, XL Pro wheel sets, shifters, foot pegs, White Brothers foot pegs, racks, um, exhaust systems, works connection, frame guards, brand new, AFAM sprockets, gasket kits, and bearing kits, and a full wiring harness, and a carburetor, and radiators, and on and on. And I've got the manual, the title, the brochures, the, the owner's manual, the shop manuals, the Multiple shop manuals. And did I mention a brand new KTM? Eber, you hooked us up big time, brother. A set of supermoto wheels, KTM pipes. My God, this is a mother load of parts, Eber. You know these are all going to go to good use. We got two more 520s in the build. And man, I'm going to have a tough time parting with this right here. I don't know, man. I should put a ball on this one and put it under the Christmas tree for the kids. And for me, this is just a beautiful. I love these XR200s. So, the KE100, the set, these are all XR parts, he's separating all the KE parts now. Eber also knows we have a library here. We have over 3,000 hardbound books and manuals. We've got the WR500, the KX125, the KE100, the Honda Service Manual, and the XR650 Manual. These are just the extra ones. Each one of these bikes, not only the title and the manufacturer certificate origin, but we also got extensive literature, uh, like the XR200. I've got the owner's manual. I've got the service manual, I've got the uh, shop manual, and I've got the, the Haynes manual. So like everything you need if you ever want to rebuild your XR, we, we got everything. You guys are like Santa's Zells over here, man. We got a little motorcycle parts factory going on here. Huh? Yeah, this is absolutely it. Brand new shift forks, transmission gears. It's for, all for KE100, right? Shift shaft, new return spring for the kicker, new kicker gear. You got a lifetime supply of KE100 parts here. That's insane. What do you got? There's three carburetors. That's the Three carburetors. And that's the cover. Three new carburetors and a brand new cover for it? What the heck? He took the carb off because he put it in storage and soaked it in WD-40 soaked rags. We got an extra swing arm. We got two exhausts. We got a whole plastic set, side cover, air box, brake cables, five sets of brake shoes, tire tubes, oil tanks, headlight, Counter shaft cover, a brand new set of NOS never on the bike shocks. Uh, did I mention owner manual? KE100 owner manual and the motorcycle service manual. Titles, everything. A Kawasaki. Uh, uh, I, forget, I can't even think of what's called. Oh my God, did we mention we had a brand new NOS gas tank that he took off the bike when he bought it new? Now he told you he bought all these bikes brand new, right? He said he, these two brand new. He bought that from a buddy of his. The oh. 20. Um, don't play me, James. In, in, in like, brand new condition. Nice. Look at this thing. It's brand new. <laughs> Not a scratch on it. Oh, swing. Twins, Basil. Twins. Kyle, how many pistons you got for a KE100 right here? Uh, I believe there's eight. Eight? And what's this big box in the back? I don't know. I oh, a sleeve. So you got a cylinder. Is that a brand new NOS head? Yeah. Is this an NOS crank? Uh. I didn't open that one yet. What? Yep. Are you kidding me? Eber, you are the man, brother. You hooked us up big time. New sleeve, new crank. He sent me pictures, but man, I don't think pictures did justice to this load here, eh? Wow. 
Stay tuned, we're gonna get this bad boy fired up. And of course, Wheelie Wednesday would not be complete unless I wheelie this around the house. My, my former record is five times around the house. I think I can go six with this one. Oh man, oh man, that's my brand new thing. How many bikes you picking up to ship out today, James? Uh, 12. We're 12. Out to, out to the Midwest. That's not even a whole, full load, bro, brother. Yeah, that is a full load. That's a load and a half. They're big bikes? Yeah, Harleys oh. and... Uh... Guys, we just unloaded all the Harley parts. There's two FXR solid rims. You've got progressive shocks right here, brand new. Nice set of uh, Works Performance shocks. Uh, these are Works Performance also, but they're old school style Works Performance. Kind of an oxymoron. Um, here are the gauges to the bike right here, 10,000 original miles on that FXR. We got bar risers, turn signals, all the hardware, kickstand. We have how many sets of mids here? Uh, I think there's three, two. Three sets of mids. I don't know if you priced out a set of mids lately, but these aren't complete. They're missing some of the linkage, but with the linkage, they're about 500 bucks. Brand new oil tank, three primary covers, a kick-ass set of wide glide forks, which is what the Harley Davidson and the Marlboro Man bike ran. I'm not sure if that's the direction we're going to go, but sh shifters, uh, three sets of fender struts, just some beautiful stuff along with the seat. We've got uh, three sets of tins for it, two tanks, two fender sets, custom swing arm. Should be good, guys. Stay tuned. We're going to build a monster. Guys, these progressives are, are a little over 300, but these, this is a, this is a highly sought after set. I don't know if you can see the logo. Works Performance. There it is. Works Performance, 13 and a half inch nitrogen shocks, but they, they're performance shocks with the Harley Davidson vintage style all chrome. Those are unobtainium. Really nice. Brand new SBS ceramic brake pads. This thing's gonna get hooked up. Stay tuned. Brand new fresh inspection cover, polished swing. Got brand new tires on our lift, man. Still got the hairy nubs. We should check the frame rails. If you know anybody who wants to buy a boat, I got this kick-ass ski nautique coming up for sale here. It's like brand new. Got some Harley tanks from the last pick. Just gonna have the dent magician pop some dings out. Cash for bikes here. Give us a call. All makes and models, any conditions, basket cases. If you know anybody's got collections or somebody passed away, you got an estate, accessories, memorabilia. Magazines, books, any motorcycle related stuff, large lots, estate sales, no project too big. We're 150,000 square foot. We're the largest in the United States that I know of that, that does, wait, definitely the largest in New England. Maybe not all of the United States, but definitely the largest in New England. License insured, and the museum is a 501c3 status. So this is just one 40,000 square foot building. We have 150,000 square foot of buildings here. It's just ready to fill up with motorcycles, so give us a call. 860-454-7024. Thanks for watching. And as always, God bless the United States of America.